shining tree. He's the Lord who made Lake Care. He made this land Australia. His glory's everywhere. One of the challenges that we can have as parents and as people involved in Christian schools is that parents want a, a protectionist mentality and, and I always you know, tell the story of families who would come to our school and said, you know, I want, I want this to be a place where my child will be protected from sin and I had to put up my hand and say, well, look, my, my boys go here so, mm. so they won't be protected, you know, <laughs> like my boys yeah. are here. So how, how did you work through with Robin, but also what was your experience of this preparation mm. to know and love and serve God forever against protection from the F word and from lies mm. and from, yep. you know, stories yep. about witches. What, how yeah. did you work that through? Well, um, well, I still read Narnia, so, you know, the, <laughs> well, that's a good start. there you go, that's not so good. Uh, um, uh, yeah, it's an interesting thought because protection is, is and, and look, I'm, you know, I'm of a different generation to the current generation as well. So um, th there is a much more aggressive, prog so-called progressive agenda in education, which, um, so uh, the, I, I agree that the sinful nature is, um, is, is a really uh, persistent vermin and uh, <laughs> managed to get through uh, every sort of rabbit proof fence you can erect, <laughs> yeah. finds its way into Christian schooling. Yeah. You know, I often thought one of the things, I mean, it's just a lesson for life really. It's certainly been the lesson in Christian education is that there's, there's compromise in the collective, you know, that once, once, you, once you agree with someone to try and do something together, mm -hmm. then there's two opinions, molding their way into one manifestation organization or whatever and and a Christian school is a vast sort of compromise in that sense of um, find, finding that common ground and working out well what what can I expect as a parent from this school and I think actually changing the the term parent controlled schooling was probably helpful uh, because parents would tend to think well I get to control this school but without the common sense to say, well, there's lots of other parents and what happens if, you know, th there's this nuance of, so there's a broad sense of what constitutes the Christian school. Um, certainly the challenges relationally are just like, you know, I was just reading about a f families on the mission field. These are hyper committed people going to Africa in very difficult situations and part, the hardest thing was working together. And it was, and it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't working with him. It was like us working together. I realise that I'm part of this equation, and and uh, so that's a lesson in Christian schooling. And um, uh, and yeah, we definitely there were challenges. But I loved that. You know what, what I didn't mention before was the pastoral dimension, which I think was really precious to understand human nature. Um, in its totality, again, the reality of kids, not just a philosophy that drives the school, but actually a Christian philosophy does understand that children have uh, a sinful nature, but before that, uh, they're made in the image of God and that that is remarkable and it gives them remarkable capacities to, f for lots of things, they have gifts and abilities and perceptions and, and expressions of just the, 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 of human life that's his gift. and. Um, and then of relationship and to understand how to shape relationships around um, Christian faith. It's a really lovely thing that, that I really appreciated that my kids had a peer group of Christian friends and, uh, and it wasn't always without, you know, the, the ups and downs. But uh, yeah, so, so you know, I think it's important to have you know, realistic expectations and, and f fair expectations, knowing, like you say, our own yeah. hearts and our kids. Let's pick up the point that you make, I think, fairly there, which is uh, it is a very different generation yeah. of that parents are living in now than perhaps you and I lived in as parents. Yeah. Um, how might you encourage, how might you exhort families, yeah. parents now, today, living mm. in 2019, who are trying to raise their children to know and love and serve Jesus. Yeah. It's interesting because it's, 
I, um, I remember hearing once uh, a, a talk someone gave, Christian gave, about um, uh, when there's conflict in relationships, and particularly in, in a marriage relationship where there's conflicts. And, and uh, he said, uh, and it was from James where it was uh, talking about the relationships between Christians where they, it says they it sort of started with just, you know, they, they scratch and bite and then it, and then it sort of gets worse. You murder, you know, like it's, it's sort of, yeah. um, and he said, it's, it's always worse than you think. And it's always simpler than you think. Yeah. And when you're in a, um, you know, a, a difficult situation, it can just feel like, the, the, the smoothies being made and the bananas getting mixed up and there's no way to get the banana back, you know, like I just want it simple, you know, and it's too late. It's all, it's a smoothie now. And we're living sort of in a, you know, I think life has always sort of had that element somehow, but to, um, uh, yeah, what, what's the point? There is a lot of complication and yet you think what's actually at stake here is the stakes are much higher than they might. It's not just, preference mm -hmm. you know we're, we're in a strongly consumeristic environment mm -hmm. um, so people come to Christian schooling or independent schooling with a sort of a customer mindset uh, which is possibly the replacement for parent control the philosophical sense of control can be a consumer sense of control perhaps and it's something that parents probably need to be a little bit careful of but um, uh, so they so they come uh, the, the simple thing, so it's more, uh, it's worse than you think in that what the world is saying and doing has a real stench of death about it. Mm. That, um, mm. and I, uh, that, that to forsake God, it just, just to see the clarity of heaven and hell and um, forgiveness and uh, light and dark, mm and to understand the difference that Jesus makes in that and just how decisive his life and death and resurrection is and how his word is, just, just to sort of see the clarity, if you like, so that it's simpler than you think in a sense. It's not simple in that sense, but there are clear instructions. And then, um, yeah, so it's, 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 you know, what's at stake? It's worse and it's simple. So I'm probably not, I'm probably making it sound like a smoothie and less like a banana and a scoop of ice cream really. But uh, I, I do feel like it's a time to sort of try and distill the clarity yeah. in yeah. it all. And do you sense that there's an opportunity in that for, for, for Christian schools to be yeah. able to, uh, to uh, not just as you say, provide a a, uh, a choice of education. It's really yeah. about saying uh, there is hope. There yeah. is hope in, in darkness. Uh, there, is, uh, there is life and choice uh, that can be made. Uh, that really is the power of the gospel. Yes, that, that, that's, that's right. That's right. And it is a real power. It's not, a, it's not just one of the options on the smorgasbord. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's how the world says it. And yeah. that's, that's how um, the decisive life yeah. of Jesus Christ is is yeah. compelling and yeah. true and 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 he he was risen and he is active and so that's that's what we're seeking to do in Christian education is to follow he, follow the living Christ and to sort of let that affect yeah. all of life so um, yeah I think definitely Christian education and it will force the point I yes. think um, because we, we want to employ Christian people uh, in, in our schools and to, to teach and to reflect our Christian philosophy and to respect, um, uh, you know, the, the foundations of our schools and the, and the expectations of Christian parents. And we ought to be able to do that. We need to organise ourselves in such a way and express that. Um, and to, uh, you know, and we can see, interestingly, I mean, being ultra current for just right now, that it feels like there's a bit of muscle being shown that that you know the quiet Australians as, as they've been called who get about their life and do their things you know there are Christian people who believe deeply about what um, uh, yeah about the gospel and uh, and and we ought to as citizens be able to express that and and exercise that in Christian setting so there perhaps we'll need to express that well uh, and I think you can. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. And yeah. Hope